It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. At the plate, Nicholas Castellanos. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And it's fouled away. 65 degrees our temperature here at first pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Nicholas Castellanos is retired to lead off the ball game. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Newman brings it in, and there are two away now. So up steps the former MVP Joey Votto. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Hitter scout now. Here's the two and one. Tight break with the slider there. Catches the inside for a strike. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So striding in, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 3-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Long run for the center fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Into the box now. Adam Frazier. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Career numbers against Sonny Gray. He's gone two for eight. Two and two to Adam Frazier. Hey, you know the pitcher right now. He's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Castellanos will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. Into the box, Josh Bell. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. In now, Colin Moran is ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Newman on third, Reynolds at second, Bell at first, one gone. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Here's Gregory Polanco. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here's the 3 1. In there. And he's taking him as far as he can go now. It's full 3 and 2. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. Two out, bases loaded. And another foul ball. Oh, 
pulled high in the air out to right field. Number 44 is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. So now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez, he'll get us started in the top of the second. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Ready now for Cincinnati, Mike Mustakis. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw gets him two down. Stepping into the box, Aristides Aquino. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location. If and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Next for the Buckos, Kevin Kramer. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Keeping it down here as it's to 1 and 2. Well, he kind of struggled through that first inning, but ended up getting out of it. Now, here in the second, you know he'd love to get this leadoff guy and get off on the right foot and maybe settle into this game a bit. Well, staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The one two now a curveball misses inside that hook stayed up in the zone you can see he struggled with that curveball early he's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches but to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swung on in the dirt. Strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Stallings is retired. Two down now. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Chris Archer. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a one and two count. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move traffic right here. He's taking two big swings. He's trying to help himself. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Oh, that grounder caught him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Up next for Pittsburgh, the second baseman, Kevin. Standing in now, Kevin Newman. Newman. Right side, hit hard. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. In now, Adam Frazier. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Number 44 is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Digging in the switch hitter, Freddie Galvis. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. A 1 1. Ball that did. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. 2 and 2. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. 
Now the payoff pitch home. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Reynolds comes on now and he has it one down. So one away here with the bases empty. And next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed strike three. So here now is the pitcher, Sonny Gray. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. One one. Sent on the ground out to second. Newman's got it. Throw on to Bell at first, and his side is retired. Now at the plate, Ryan Reynolds. He'll begin things here against Sonny Gray. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. And they can't run it down. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Josh Bell will be next. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Josh Bell. He drew a walk his first time up. The 1-1 home. A runner at first with no outs here. Struck him out. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring up Colin Moran. Colin Moran. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now batter. So digging in now, Gregory Polanco. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 3 1. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. The 3 2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Winker is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So it's back to the top of the order now. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bet next. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. So the base is empty here with one away. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Yank fouled off to the right. The one two. Again he sends it out of play. The one two. And here's a change up in there for a called third strike and that's the second out of the inning. In is Joey Votto now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 2 1. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, digging in for his second at bat, Kevin Kramer. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. The count now at 2-1. and one. 
three one the count to the Pirates shortstop. Well that sets up a big pitch right here Matt because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. This is swung on and popped up crossing into foul territory now behind third. Suarez is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. The 1 1 home. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Hit the other way out toward right field. Number 44 is there and he has it for the out. And now it's the Pirates pitcher, Chris Archer. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. We're moving through the middle of this ballgame right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Mustakis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Misses ball two. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Aristides Aquino waits on deck. And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. The next three two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Ready for another chance. Aristides Aquino. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Misses. Ball 2. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And he lays off again. Ball 3. The 3-1. Three You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be troubled. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Now batting. Shortstop. Freddy Galvin. To the plate now. Freddy Galvis. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman, he steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Riding in once again, Adam Frazier 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. 1 1. Runners off for second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. And 
and there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Castellanos has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. Jose De Leon, the six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Ryan Reynolds will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Now about it. Josh Bell the, the next to hit. He was Josh. sat down on strikes in his last Bell. at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Digging in, Tucker Barnhart looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The one and two pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a line drive. But just fouls as he just misses extra bases. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Mark Payton will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. That's popped up in there a base hit so a base hit from the pinch hitter will send them back to the top of the order with one away in the inning not in time and he's in there with a double at the plate now Nicholas Castellanos and that change up makes him jump a swing and a miss pops this one up Kramer moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Coming to the plate now, Jesse Winker. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Three and one, here it is. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. The payoff pitch. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. You're Wade Miley three. enters to do the pitching now, in the bottom of the sixth. Cincinnati. Number 22. Wade. Murray. Ready once again, Colin Moran. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Popped him up. Votto has room in foul territory. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now at the plate, Gregory Polanco. 0 for 2, he's flown out twice. The 2 1. Swung on and belted to right by Polanco. This one's deep. Looking up is the right fielder. That almost left the stadium. That's in the deep seats. So now to the plate, Kevin Kramer softly hit toward the hole. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. So coming to the plate, Jacob Stallings. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Two out, nobody on. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Miley has got it, and the side is retired. Seventh inning ready to roll. Stepping in, Joey Votto. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now the 2-1.
grounded back up the middle. And he will not have time to recover it short. That's an infield single. The third base, number seven, Eugenio At the plate, Eugenio Suarez. That's one and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. At the plate, Mike Moustakis. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Hit hard on the ground towards second. One there. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Rysel Iglesias gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, ready for another shot now. Chris Archer, he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Castellanos comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Digging in, Kevin Newman. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Newman. Line toward the alley in left center. He's through first and hustling for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. Stepping in now, Adam Frazier. And he popped him up. Galvis takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Now at the plate, Ryan Reynolds. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swing and he pops him up. Mustakis into shallow center. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Ready to begin the eighth. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Aristides Aquino. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. 1 1 pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first down. The battle. Standing in, Freddie Galvis. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. 1-1. One, one. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's 3-1 and one now. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three-ball count. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. So striding forward now, Tucker Barnhart will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Frazier is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. Over two with a walk for him so far. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. 
The one two is looked at for ball number two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Into the box now, Colin Moran. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 3 1. Is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Keone Kella comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Kirk Casale will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. 2 and 1. Three balls and a strike to the Reds' left fielder. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. Three-two pitch. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Now back. Striding in, Jesse Winker. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And that's in there. Base hit. Nick Senzel will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. The first baseman. Joey Votto. Into the box now. Joey Votto. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. Back to first. A double play. And with that, the ball game is over. Wow. That game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both curlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. final score. Pittsburgh wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Chris Archer gets the win on the mound his first of the year with 15 strikeouts. Keone Kella earns the save out of the bullpen his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. This afternoon. First for the victorious Pirates, one run on six hits, no error. They left eight men on base. For the Red, no run, four hits, no error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, a swift two hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.